I'm not big on speeches. I've always believed that the role of the bartender is to shut up and listen. And by that measure, Gabe was the worst bartender I've ever known. I never issued a speeding ticket to someone on a bicycle before until he came along. He cared so much about my admissions essay. Even though he probably couldn't spell admissions <laughs> or essay. <laughs> he booked my band to play the lantern all the way from Seattle to pretty much right where I'm standing. I can recall 14 specific instances where Gabe said something that made me laugh. <laughs> the first was two years ago. So, long story short, instead of a ticket, I ended up buying him a beer. Gabe stood like three feet away, grinning like a doofus at us. I'm sure there were more people, but I only remember him. And then he said, I know, that's why the K is silent. <laughs> uh, then the fifth time... He cared about everyone. He was the kind of guy you wanted to be around. He was a world-class bullshitter. He was my best friend. to say about Gabe is he came into this bar as a stranger but he left it as family <clears throat> guess that's that then what happened to Gabe was a senseless, tragic accident. And I just wish it that... It wasn't an accident. Son, now is not the time. Gabe called the mine. I gave him my sat phone to be sure he could get through. They fucked up. And now... Now Gabe's dead. That was my shift. If anyone had called, it would have gone through me. Nobody called. You're lying. In front of Gabe's own fucking sister, Alex heard the whole thing. Well, I didn't... I didn't hear Gabe make the call. But he told us he got through. Well, if Gabe said something, then I'm inclined to believe him, Mac. What are you saying? I'm not saying anything. Just, I didn't get a call. Draw your own conclusions. All right, folks. This is an ongoing investigation. How about that... we review the sequence of events, hmm? Well, son... When I saw you at the record store, you seemed pretty eager to find Gabe. Remember why? Hmm? Another fight with Riley, maybe? No, I don't have to take this. Just saying, pretty wild that you come stumbling out of Gabe's apartment with your face all fucked up. Right. And just a couple hours later, you just so happened to miss the call that would have saved his life? Look, I told you there was no call to miss. And okay, maybe the call got dropped. Oh shit, I mean, it's not like... It's not like Gabe was Mr. Reliable all the time. You watch your mouth, Mac. Ryan, that's enough. 
Now, I'm just as eager as you to understand all this, son, but there was a time... Bullshit, and... Dad. This little weasel's calling Gabe a liar at his own fucking wake. Hell, I am just telling you. Mac, I swear, if you say there was no call one more fucking time... Stop it! Stop it now! This is not the time or place. We're all here for Gabe. Okay, Ryan? Sure, I'm... I'm sorry. It's not... I'm just trying... I'm not the one who killed him. <laughs> Aren't you, though? What the fuck did you just say? Ryan, back off. Oh, hell. I'm just saying. I thought I heard that you Mac, were the one. You shut the hell up. No. No, go ahead. You got something to say, Mac? Let's fucking hear Come it. Come on, guys. Don't make me intervene. All right. Fine. As long as we're tossing around accusations, way I hear it, you're the guy who cut the rope. Why not That's you? That's it. Wait's over. Everyone out. Alex? Hey, fuck those guys. Yeah. Are you okay? Not really. But I, I will be. It's not your job to keep it together. Thanks. Do you, um, it's messy, but do you want to come in? Sure. You play guitar? Yeah, well, sort of. I used to. Cool. Gabe would try to pop wheelies outside the record store to make me laugh. Never worked. Tilly wiped out. That was hilarious. Gabe really wanted to do the LARP for Ethan. But by the end of it, he was more jazzed about it than anybody. Wish I could have seen it. Yeah. <laughs> we took this a year ago. We... They kept it.
problem. Calm down, Alex. You're fine. You're fine. Whatever that bottle made her think of, it really messed her up. I wonder if I could help her the same way I helped Ethan. I need to feel her sadness to figure out how to help her. really going on with Steph. <laughs> Dude, give it up. I already booked a bus ticket. Wait, wait, hear me out. One more game. If I win, you have to stay. If you win, I'll cover the ticket. You just lost 50 bucks. job at the station. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm not taking it. I move to Denver next week. You what? Blue Meteor? Aww. <laughs> Is your controller broken too? We're playing until I win. Then I'll be crashing here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting your new foosball champion, Gabe Chen. Oh, you're the worst. I can't believe I have to stay in this stupid town. I think we both know you could have beat me if you really wanted to. So you're welcome. Bullshit. I think I know enough to help her now. Still can't believe he's gone. Yeah. He's the whole reason I'm still... I'm sorry, Alex. Don't mind me. drink or anything? No, thanks. I appreciate the offer, though. Sure. That wasn't right. Want to get a few matches of Dino Racer in? Could be a nice distraction. No, thanks. I just need a minute. That didn't help. I could put on a record, if you like. Nah, not really in the mood. Maybe something else? How about a quick match? Did Gabe tell you we played? I 
I just had a hunch. Yeah? Well, you're right. I don't really think it's a great time. Fine. First to five points? If you say so. So, how often did you and Gabe play? It was one of our favorite games. You must be pretty good then. Mm-hmm. You were in a band, right? Yeah. What'd you play? Drums. How, uh, how long did you play with them? <sighs> Too long. Gotcha. Five points! That's game! Yep. Big shocker. Oh, hey, at least you played your best. I mean, that obviously wasn't my best. No, I get it. I mean, this is a tough game. It requires skill, timing, and the will to be a champion. Oh, is that how it is? Okay, okay. Joking aside, Playing this stupid game with you is exactly what I need right now. You're on. I'm actually trying this time, so you better focus. I am focusing. Good. Wouldn't want you to get distracted or anything. Certainly not. Greatest Northwest band of all time, go. <laughs> Are you trying to distract me? Oh, of course not. Slater Kinney, if you were wondering. that time. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's get serious. One more game, winner takes title of ultimate foosball champion. Mm, I don't know. Oh, come on. You know Gabe would be all about us playing like this. Well, then it's settled. <laughs> this is it for all the marbles. So many marbles. Definitely the kind of game you want to focus on, no matter what happens. Totally. Hey, so are you into girls or what? <laughs> yeah. Girls are pretty rad, right? Especially girls that play foosball and host radio stations and wear beanies. Like it's a religion. <laughs> Sounds like a winning combo. Who's what? How convinced were you that that was gonna work? From one to ten? <laughs> like a three? Well, that's more than zero. Foos, 
Foosball Champion! Foosball Champion! Goddamn shit <laughs> family! Oh! Good game. Thanks, Alex. I'm really glad you talked me into it. It was a lot of fun. Of course. So, what are you gonna do now? What do you mean? That shit with Mac, he's clearly lying, right? No question. I knew he was a jerk, but this is another level. I think I need to prove that he's lying. For myself and for Gabe. I've got your back. No matter what. Thank you. That means a lot. I should head back to work. Cool. Bye. Bye. I know Gabe made that call, but did Mac really let the blast go off just to get back at him? Getting dressed shouldn't be so hard, and yet... See? I can be a person. Ultimate foosball champion. I like the sound of that. Would have been fun to see Gabe crush some sweet powder. Or whatever snowboarders say. The kind of person who got that worked up over a college essay could be capable of almost anything. Feels like a million years since that day with Gabe. Hasn't even been a week. So long, depression food. to start. Clean home, clean mind. Right, Dr. Lin? Okay, that did make me feel a little better. Cape really meant the world to Steph. At least I got to have a few good moments.
The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. I'll toss those soon, I swear. No birds today. I thought this was going to be the one. Finally. Despite all the disappointments, I really let myself believe. I believed you. Completely. I let myself hope, really hope, for the first time in years. Even after I freaked out in front of you and hit you, you didn't push me away. You sat right there and told me that I wasn't broken, that I was special, and I belonged. Then you died. Then I don't know what to believe now. Except you're gone again. And I'm still here. Alone. So to take all of this pain. So to take all of this pain. This Gabe really loved this place. Gabe was such a dad. You could stay here too. I wouldn't try to stop you. Yeah, good. I'll be the only trans person in a town with a population of like four. That sounds like a blast for me. Thanks for not trying to stop me. I'm sorry, Izzy. It's not you. And it's not the band. I fucking love that shit. But I need to try this. It's just... time for something new. I knew it. I knew this would happen eventually. Fucking... See you around, Steph. Time for something new. I know how that feels. I bet Gabe could even make golf fun. Why look up at the sky when you could look at a sculpture instead? <laughs> <laughs> 